George Hackenschmidt was one of the greatest strength and combat athletes the world has ever seen. George was a champion wrestler, strongman, an all-around athlete excelling at swimming, running, and jumping. In 1902, at the age of 24, he moved to Britain from Russia and continued his professional wrestling career, becoming the most famous wrestler in the world after defeating his opponent in seconds. Hack, as he was called, was earning as much as $1,750 a week. Hackenschmidt's wrestling career ended when he received a knee injury while training for a title bout in America with Frank Gotch. Hackenschmidt was much more than a wrestler. He was an intellectual and author. He embodied the philosophy of strong body and sound mind. And in addition to his amazing physical accomplishments, he lectured on philosophy at both Harvard and Yale universities in the summer of 1939. Hack proposed that the modern lifestyle had left man weakened and sickly. What was required was heavy weightlifting to increase strength, for it is only by exercising with heavy weights that any man can hope to develop really great strength. Hackenschmidt was way ahead of his time. He was natural, no juice needed, and was strong as hell. He was smart, well-mannered, and well-dressed, and he was from an era when men were men. Hey guys, what's up? So George Hackenschmidt, the Russian lion. And you know, before I started doing research on George Hackenschmidt, I always thought that he was responsible for the hack squat machine, that move that you see in the gym, the hack squat. Well, it turns out my research uncovered that that's not entirely true. So, as we know, his nickname was Hack. In German, there's a word called Hock, H-O-C-K-E. And that means to squat, I'm just using a loose uh, definition of the word. It means to squat down into this position right here. So, Hack and Schmidt would do this hack lift with a barbell behind his butt and his hands together and his heels together. And so that's where a lot of people just assumed that he came up with the hack lift or the hack squat. There's also a German word, it's uh, called hack, and that means heel. So you've got a lot of different definitions you know, you've got Hackenschmidt, you've got Hack, you've got Hock, and then you've got the German word Hack. So the reason that Hackenschmidt is attached to the Hack squad is because he was really good at the lift behind the back. And because people would see him doing that, they would just call it, oh, that's Hackenschmidt doing the Hack lift. And so then it kind of changed into the Hack squat. So in my research, that's how I was able to string all this stuff together. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the hack lift, the hack squat, and you know, I've done a loose version of this, but I've never done it the way, during my research, uh, it showed me that you're supposed to keep your hands together and your heels together. So try this when you are on, during leg day. Make sure you warm up and don't get frustrated if you can't do this, even with an empty bar at first. So I've got a standard 45 pound bar Heels together, hands together to where they're touching, not close to touching, but actually touching. And if you notice, I just took it off my rack, not even off the ground. I'm not so sure I could lift it off the ground. All right, so this is what it looks like. I'm 
I'm going to do a few reps. There's a little bit of a balance issue. So at the bottom of the movement, you're going to come up on your toes right here. And I can feel that in that teardrop muscle right above the knee. And we know with hack squats, that's where you're feeling it primarily. So what kind of weight did he do with this exercise? 187 pounds for one rep and 110 pounds for 50 reps, 5-0. Amazing. So I hope you enjoyed this George Hackenschmidt profile. I'm gonna be doing a lot of other Lost Legends. It's very important to me to bring these guys and girls, I'm sure in some cases, back, bring them back to life and uh, shed some light you know, on how they trained, how, how they were amazingly strong, what they ate, what their lifestyle was like. So make sure you subscribe and do me a favor, like the video, share the video on Facebook and on Twitter, and uh, that will help spread the word about bringing some of these amazing men and women, strong men, strong women, athletes, back to life. <laughs>